Hi guys! I hope everyone's doing well today. Welcome back to another What's Sold video. Today we are going to be looking at my sales from January 9th through January 15th. My name is Macy and I am a full-time reseller. On this channel, I put out reselling content to help you succeed at your reselling business. If that sounds like something that interests you, hit subscribe down below and tap the bell so that you know next time I put out a new video. I cannot believe it is already the end of January this year. It's already going by so fast and I'm sure it will just continue to go that way. But as I stated last video, I am trying to catch up on my what sold videos and get back in line with doing them the week after I sell things instead of a few weeks after. So we are going to be catching up again and looking at sales from a little earlier this month. So we're going to take a look at some of my highest profit sales this week and some on the lower end and then we'll round it out with my profit breakdown. So let's just jump into it. My first sale for this week was a Turtleson mint green new with tags full zip jacket in a size medium. It sold on Poshmark for $20, and after fees, I made $16. It took 110 days to sell. I picked this up for a dollar, and I mostly picked it up because it was new with tags. I didn't know too much about this brand. In fact, I thought that they only sold men's clothes until my VA actually told me that they do sell some women's things. So I was like, okay, because I was thinking this looked like a women's jacket, but since I only saw men's things on their site. I thought that maybe it was a men's jacket instead. I had never heard of this brand personally, but the prices online seemed pretty decent for this brand, so I thought I would give it a shot, and it ended up selling for a pretty good price, especially whenever you're only paying a dollar. The next thing to sell was a Citizens of Humanity Kelly Stretch Low Waist Cropped Jeans in a size 28. They sold on Poshmark for $28. And after Poshmark fees, I made $22.40. It took nine days to sell. That was a consignment item, so I kept a bit of the profit and the rest went back to the person that gave me this item to consign. Not all citizens of humanity jeans are created equal. Some of them will sell for quite a lot and some of them barely sell for anything at all. It depends on how old the style is and what the style is. And honestly, I don't know too much about which styles do well and which ones don't. I always just look up the comps for them whenever I find them in the stores. In this case, since it was a consignment item, I was listing it regardless of if the comps were good or not. And luckily, the Kelly style was a good style apparently, because $28 isn't that bad. It might have helped that the back pocket embroidery was a bright, bold color, because maybe people were seeking out something with a little bit more flair to it. The next thing to sell was an American Eagle Stretch Burgundy Distressed Shorts in a size 12. It sold on Poshmark for $20 and after Poshmark fees and a shipping discount of $2.12, I made $13.88 and it took 77 days to sell. This was a relisted item so I sold it five days after I relisted these shorts. I've been on a relisting streak. I've been trying to relist every day. I haven't relisted every day, but I've been close. So you're going to hear more and more about relisted item sales because it really does help sell older items. Whenever you relist, it just treats the item as a brand new item and it puts it in the just in category on Poshmark. Overall, it, it just helps to relist your items after they've been up on Poshmark for some time. I only paid a dollar for these shorts at a Goodwill Dollar Day and I picked them up because size 12 is a great size and distressed shorts from American Eagle usually do pretty well for me. Not necessarily in the winter but come spring summer time they sell very fast. The next thing to sell was a White House Black Market black white floral sleeveless dress in a size 2. It sold on Poshmark for $16 after Poshmark fees I made $12.80. It took 137 days to sell. Slow mover there. But I only paid a dollar for it again in the Goodwill Dollar Day. Even though it took a while to sell, White House Black Market is a brand that I like to resell and it tends to always sell for me even though it might take a while sometimes. Plus if this dress was a little bit bigger of a size, I bet it would have moved a little faster. The next thing to sell was an American Eagle Kick Boot Stretch Dark Wash Jeans in a size 2. 
They sold on Poshmark for $19 and after Poshmark fees, I made $15.20. It took 160 days to sell. Once again, this was a relisted item, so it sold four days after I relisted it. My cost was a dollar for these and I don't typically pick up boot cut jeans by American Eagle, even if they're a dollar because it's just not as desirable of a style right now as skinny jeans. However, the kick boot style is a little bit more popular. So if it is only a dollar, I will consider picking it up unless there are any flaws on it, then I will leave it behind. The next thing to sell was an American Eagle purple gray lace up fuzzy bell sleeve sweater in a size medium. It sold on Poshmark for $20 and after Poshmark fees, I made $16. It took 72 days to sell. I paid full price for this at a Goodwill at $5.29. I picked it up because it was really soft and I liked the bell sleeve and lace up features that it had. I figured those two things might help it sell faster, but American Eagle is just a tough brand to sell for anything other than jeans and rompers. I probably shouldn't have paid that much for it, but regardless, it got a lot of attention and it sold in a few months. So not necessarily a bad pickup, but I don't know if I would do it again. The next thing to sell was a Banana Republic slow and fit gray skinny pants in a size four. They sold on Poshmark for $20 and after Poshmark fees, I made $16 and they took 124 days to sell. Once again, this was a relisted item and it sold the same day that I relisted it along with another item in a bundle. And this person just added two items to their bundle and then paid the 20% discounted price on Poshmark. They didn't even wait around for an offer or it asked me to go any lower or anything like that. They just accepted my bundle discount price, which is really cool and not something that I see all that often. So I was super excited for that sale. Slow and Fit is a great style to pick up from Banana Republic. I pick it up almost every time I see it, as long as the pants are a dollar and they are not flawed. The next thing to sell was an H&M forest green color classic blazer in a size eight. It sold on Poshmark for $20 and after Poshmark fees, I made $16 and it took 72 days to sell. I only paid a dollar for this, but it was a debate whether I wanted to pick it up or not because H&M just doesn't retail for a lot. And so unless the item is a really good style, it's not gonna make you very much money, even if you're only paying a dollar for it. The main reason that I got this guy was because it was before Christmas time and it was a Christmas color, like this Christmassy green color. And I thought maybe it would sell for Christmas, but it did not sell for Christmas. It sold after Christmas, still for a decent price. So I'm very happy with that. The next thing that sold was an almost famous black ribbed knit long sleeve bodycon dress in a size 1x. Sold on eBay for $31 and after eBay fees and shipping, I made $21.77. It took 81 days to sell. This was another dollar pickup and I wouldn't have got it if it wasn't a dollar because Almost Famous, I think, is a Kohl's brand, might be a, some other department store. It's definitely not an expensive brand, and I think that it's actually a Junior's brand. However, the style of this dress is very in right now. Rib knit, long sleeve, bodycon with the stripe detail on the side, contrast color. This is something that I've seen on Instagram from, you know, models and stuff. That combined with the fact that it was a size 1X was enough for me to pick it up for a dollar. The next thing to sell was a pair of American Eagle favorite boyfriend short dark wash jeans in a size two. They sold on Poshmark for $20 and after fees, I made $16. It took 111 days to sell, but it only took one day to sell after I relisted it. Telling you guys, relisting for the win. It's moving items that I've had sitting around for months. This was definitely an older style from American Eagle. You could tell by the inside tags. And it, there's even a date on the inside tags if you look inside the jeans that tells you when they were made. So if it is too many years old, like five plus years old, maybe don't get it. <laughs> the next thing to sell was a pair of Ava and Aiden white pointed toe pump heels in a size six and a half. They sold on Mercari for $22. After Mercari fees and shipping, I made $13.59. They took 256 days to sell. 
This was a consignment item, so I made a bit of the profit and the rest went back to the person that gave me this item to consign. It got a lot of attention. A lot of people were interested in these heels. They were pretty cute. They had like scallop detail going on around the sides of the heels and stuff. They looked very nice. It's just six and a half is a harder size to sell for shoes and I did have them priced rather high. I don't know how much Ava and Aiden sells for so they might have been priced too high. I'm sure if I lowered the price quite a bit they would have sold faster but I'm very happy with the price that they ended up going for. I figured since there was so much attention on them I would just keep the price higher and then wait for the right buyer to come along. And I'll do that for lots of items. If they have attention, I don't lower the price, even if they're sitting. But if they don't have attention and they're sitting, that's when I start dropping that price and dropping it and dropping it until it starts getting attention or it sells. The next thing to sell was an Athleta full zip hooded jacket in a size extra small. It sold on Poshmark for $24 and after Poshmark fees I made $19.20. It took 178 days to sell. I paid full price for this at $5.29 at a Goodwill and uh, man I was shocked that this took as long to sell as it did. I think Athleta might be going down a little bit in value. I might have had it priced too high again, but I just, I don't know. I have in my mind that Athleta goes for a certain price, especially whenever it's something like a zip up hoodie. So I was just waiting around for that buyer and thankfully they finally came along. But I'm going to look up comps in the future before I pick up Athleta for full price, I think. The next thing to sell was a Fashion Nova textured beige choker bodycon dress in a size small. It sold on Poshmark for $25 and after Poshmark fees I made $20. It took 297 days to sell. However, this sold 31 days after I relisted it. I paid a dollar for this and I do like picking up Fashion Nova if it is a dollar because even though it's a fast fashion brand, it seems to sell for decent prices for me. These styles are just so desirable that people are willing to pay even more than retail for it. Honestly, I mean, the person paid $25 plus $7 in Poshmark shipping, so $32 for this dress, and I bet on Fashion Nova's website whenever it was originally being sold, it was less than $32. It's very interesting to me how well Fashion Nova holds its value and how it even can exceed its value sometimes. The next thing to sell was a pair of Calvin Klein black dress pants in a size 6P. They sold on Mercari for $18 and after Mercari fees I made $15.38. They took 72 days to sell. I only paid a dollar for these. I don't really know why I picked them up because Calvin Klein dress pants are kind of a hard sell, especially if they're a size petite, so <laughs> I don't really know what I was thinking there getting these and I wouldn't get them again, but luckily they didn't take that long to sell and they ended up going for a decent price. It's weird seeing a dress pants Mercari sale, that's not something that I see very often at all. I think I just got lucky with those, I wouldn't recommend picking up Calvin Klein dress pants even if they're a dollar, unless they're like a very new style. The next thing to sell was another Calvin Klein item, a black gray sleeveless sheep dress in a size 4. Sold on Poshmark for $28 and after Poshmark fees I made $22.40. It took 12 days to sell. This was a consignment item so I made a bit of the profit and the rest went back to the person that gave me this item to consign. It was a super cute dress, I really really liked it. Perfect for business casual, career wear, so forth. Uh, the style was just really nice. I wasn't surprised that this sold for a decent price and didn't take that long to sell. You can just tell sometimes with dresses, especially Calvin Klein, they tend to make some really nice dresses and I'm always shocked whenever they don't go for a lot of money because I feel like all the Calvin Klein dresses should go for around this price. I think the problem with Calvin Klein is that they just always show up in TJ Maxx and those other discount stores. Their prices get marked down so low that people are just used to only paying like $20 for a Calvin Klein dress. And so even though they're kind of of a nicer quality, at least in my opinion, they don't go for much money at all. The last thing on my high profit list was a Livy, which is a Lane Bryant activewear brand. Black stretch lounge capris in a size 14-16. They sold on Poshmark for $16 and after Poshmark fees I made $12.80.
It took 62 days to sell. Another dollar day pickup. I like picking up plus size items whenever I can, especially if it's active wear. I thought that maybe these would go for a little bit more than they did, so I held out for a little while to see if I could get a higher price for them, but eventually I was just like, okay, you want them for 16, I got an offer, I accepted it, moved on. All right, let's go on to the lower price sales for this week. Starting off with the Boohoo plus size Jasmine embroidered corset belt in a size one size sold on Poshmark for $11 and after Poshmark fees I made $8.05. It took three days to sell. Once again this was a consignment item. I thought this was pretty cool. It was new with tags. Boohoo again just like Fashion Nova is a fast fashion brand and it does not retail for a lot so I wasn't expecting a ton of money for this and comps were around this price. Very happy with how fast it sold though. This got a lot of attention very quickly. The next thing to sell was an Alfani men's polo shirt in a size large. Sold on Poshmark for $10 and after fees I made $7.05. It took 395 days to sell but it sold 28 days after relisting. feel like that's another win for relisting there because this thing I've been sitting on for so long and no one's been interested, which doesn't surprise me. What is all funny? Like a Macy's brand or something? I don't know. This shirt was old. I think I got it from my dad. He just gives me some clothes sometimes to resell and yeah. This one was a tough sell. The next thing to sell was an H&M beige button front cardigan sweater in a size small. It sold on Poshmark for $6 and after Poshmark fees I made $3.05. Took four days to sell. This item was a little worn. It had material wear, wash wear overall and so I listed it quite low and then accepted an even lower offer because an H&M cardigan like this probably only costs around $10 to begin with. So the fact that it was worn and the retail price originally was so low I had very low expectations for what I wanted to sell it for and was happy whenever a offer came along pretty quick. And the last thing on my low profit list was an IZ Buyer black gold chevron tank top in a size small. Sold on Poshmark for $5 and after fees I made $4. Sold as part of a bundle, that's why the fees are so low there. And it took 215 days to sell. This was another consignment item and once again this brand I think might be sold at Macy's or some department store and it just wasn't something desirable. It wasn't something that people were actively searching for or seeking out you know. So that's why it was part of my 3 for $15 sale and why I sold it as cheap as I did. Okay let's talk about totals. My total sales for this week were $503 and after Poshmark fees, eBay fees, Mercari fees, shipping, and my cost of goods, I made $296. Not a stellar week for me, but that's okay. We'll pick it back up next week. Let me know how your guys' sales have been lately and if you like this video, please give me a like down below and if you haven't already, please subscribe. I appreciate every single person that subscribes and I put out new reselling content every single week so be sure to hit that bell notification down below so that you know next time I release a new video and I hope that you all have a great rest of your day. Bye!